Tandy and Sean, just like iCarly. <laughs> Drew, you like that. Anyway, we're uh, rigging some swordfish squid here at LMR today. Right, Sean? Sure. Just like iCarly. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to start with rigging squid, and what we use at LMR is hand-caught Argentinian Elex squid. Notice the nice eggplant style color. Not a white regular bait squid by any means. These are actually food grade squid for the food fish for the seafood industry that we buy and rig for sword fishing. <clears throat> what Sean's doing now, you're over there closer to the camera. Yeah, just showing the heads on. Why, why do you sew the heads on? Keep it from whacking the head off. That's it? The head fall off. Oh, the head will fall off? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so you want to tie the head on. Sure. So that's what we're doing. We're tying the head on. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, all right, just making sure. Right. So while we're doing start. this, we're tying a bunch of heads here. Get a little close up on where we're sticking that needle, Sean. You a new piece of that? Yeah, show them how to thread that needle. That's a little trick there, too. Don't tie it on. <laughs> yep. Slide it through, double it back. Here's about five inches on the other end, so it won't fall off. Give it a little twist. I like a little twist in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twist that wax a little bit like that. So it won't slip there. Yep. Line everything up. Make it look like something. Not a ball of snot. Yep. We're trying to catch swordfish with these squid. He's got a little ridge on the top of the head. Right there. That's where you want the top of the head to be lined up with. If you look, he's got a ridge on the top of his head. Put all that lined up together. Push his head up inside there. And on the bottom, he's got a little jet. You want know, to cover that jet up. You want know, to close it up from the inside, open the bottom up. Push his head up into place. That's a nice squid. Go right through the top. Out the bottom. And these are nighttime squids we're rigging. They're only sewn on once. Now there's your two pieces out the bottom. The take it, do an overhand knot, down. And this is our loop knot. Take it, make a loop, go through it, and pull the two ends opposing each other, and it cinches itself down. Put your tag in. And there you have it. And you go to the next one. Now for daytime squids, where you're dropping a little bit deeper, these squids are typically fished near the surface within 300 feet or so. One stitch is generally enough because you're just drifting with them in shallower water. If you're rigging these squids for nighttime, I mean for daytime sword fishing, you're going to put a couple extra stitches in there and make sure that head can't come off the body. Oh, a couple extra love stitches. Yeah, lucky stitches. Uh, but for night fishing, this is just fine. What we got here sitting on the wall, pan into those. Ooh, tech talk. <clears throat> Our swordfish rigs. Lots. <clears throat> See that there? The tag mm -hmm. end will come into play here in a minute. Yeah, yeah that's the right long end. tag end. It's on the back side of the hook. Yeah, tell them what hooks we're using and why. And These are LP line. hooks. They're the long line. Oh, they used to be long line hooks because all they're allowed to use now is circle hooks. So, good hook to use. Good strong steel hook. And you can see the hooks are offset. And very, very heavy steel to help hold the fish on when you have them close to the boat on the leader. Oh, rigged on 450 pound leader. LP leader also. Best to use. Sorry, they soften up the rig? One of my, one of my oh, nice trick when you're rigging your squid. If they're a little bit frozen still, they're a lot easier to handle. They're not all wobbly and floppy. And also, if you're nasty. refreezing them, you won't end up with a bunch of purple demons. Yeah. You want to try to find the freshest squid you can get a hold of. You see squid in the tackle shop that are purple. They've been thawed out and refrozen so many times. Walk away. Walk away. Actually run. <laughs> They're not any good to use. All right. When you start with the squid, you start with the bottom side of the squid. Top of the squid, bottom of the squid. Start with your hook. What you're doing is 
is you're wanting this tag in to be up inside the mantle here. So where you're going to want to start is right where this junction is here between the tag end and your main line mono. So we're going to run this in right here. And just by come out about halfway down the body and pop that out. Pull the eye of the hook, the crimp and everything through. Let the tag end slide up inside the mantle. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. You are going to use it. Good thing to do also is add this stitch in here. Oh yeah, show them the lucky stitch on there. You put this stitch in here to keep this whole thing. What will happen is if this stitch is in here, this whole thing will pull down like this and it will ball up on the end of the squid. It'll come down and it will all pull down and ball. End up on the end of the squid on the tip and you won't get a good proper cut. Yeah, the extra time makes your bait last much longer. And what you want to do is you want to go in and find the eye of the crimp. You want to find this chafe tube eye right here. That's what you're looking for. You want the needle to go right through the crimp? You want to go through the chafe. Hey Matt. Good morning. Shooting a little video for YouTube, bear with us. The way to get it to go is you can feel that I've got it hooked now. pre swordfish squid rigging demonstration if you're Check interested. it and make sure you have it. You can feel in there, you know you can't pull the hook down. You know that needle's through that eye. Same lot you did before. Got your notepad, Kevin? <laughs> and that's up there. That can't come off. And there you have it. Color is to it. Nighttime squids are very easy to rig. If you're fishing off South Florida, you want to try to bring a dozen or so with you. You can also bring some extra squids with the heads tied on so you can reuse your rigs. But if they're biting, you want to have plenty of bait. Do one more for you? Yeah, do a couple. I find ones when you rig them, they're a little soft. They're kind of soft. They're not Rigging fully the frozen still. Again, find where that crypt's gonna go. Crypt's gonna end up there. Slide that there, slide that in. Then find your loop. So I'm gonna have to make sure you got it. before. These braid scissors are very nice. Cheap. Cheap for cutting the wax thread. What kind of tag end is that? Are you kidding me? What is that? Tag end. Huh? Like a tag end. <laughs> Horrible. An extra tentacle. Huh? An extra tentacle? Yeah. Well, extra tentacle, <clears throat> That's really about it. Jeez, by the time they see that, it's too late. If you have any questions on what we've done here on our little YouTube video, you can always look us up on the internet. You can comment underneath also. You can comment. If you have a better way of doing it, we'd love to see it. I'd love to. <laughs> this is tried and true. It's been uh, refined over the years here in South Florida. This is long line style. Yep. We're in these. That's about it.